Happy Tuesday, October the 10th, my dear brothers and sisters and doll. How y'all doing? Uh, it's me, your buddy Donnie again, with another dolly review, and as always, telling it like a T.I. is. Um, this is what I would call picture perfect, or pretty as a picture, because... These three lovely little ladies, okay, um, I've already, yes, they're all Barbie, yes, every single female Mattel doll is a Barbie, and every single male doll by Mattel is a Ken, duh, but hi Barbie, hi Barbie, hi Barbie, you know, it, it just sounds, you know, repetitive, so for the purposes of identification, I will call Caucasian Barbie, Barbie, Black Barbie, Christy, and indigenous or Latina looking uh, um, Barbie Teresa. Okay, now I've already covered um, 1991's uh, Barbie and 1992's Barbie both from the Ho Happy Holidays collection. Okay, but today I'm gonna show you a custom. This little lady over her, Teresa, I'm calling her Teresa, okay, technically she is a Happy Holidays Barbie, show enough, show enough, um, but you see, ethnic inclusion, um, as far as Mattel is concerned, okay, nowadays, yeah, you know, you can find um, every single possible human combination of skin tones, features, hair colors, eye colors. Yes, Mattel has left no stone unturned with the fashionista lines in terms of uh, um, ethnic uh, looks and possible combinations thereof, okay? Um, but back in the 80s and even in the 90s, it was more clear cut, okay, either Black Barbie, White Barbie, or Latin Barbie, and uh, Asian Barbie, which was Kira in the 90s, okay? Uh, but in the 90s, there wasn't such an abundance as we have today of, again, every single possible human uh, combination of ethnic looks, okay? So back then, because it was a little more limited, okay, again, um, it was at least with the holiday Barbies, the first couple of years, they only made the white version, okay? Uh, and then by the third year, I believe, um, they started making a black version of the exact same doll. Um, and, you know, throughout the 90s, it was a standard, the white doll or the black doll, okay? Uh, but throughout the 90s, they didn't, they never really made a Happy Holidays Hispanic looking uh, Barbie. Um, in later, later years, in the 2000s, yeah, you know, um, they've made um, Happy Holidays white dolls, black dolls, Hispanic looking dolls, um, Asian looking dolls, okay? So, yeah, ethnically, Mattel has expanded their realm of, of inclusion or inclusivity. Okay, as far as, you know, um, what their dolls represent, okay? And, um, you know, it was just a business decision. It was just a business decision. But anyways, this custom is one of the easiest customs I've ever made because it didn't involve any rerouting, okay? No change of heads or body, nothing. This is actually a 1995... Um, American Indian um, Barbie, okay, that has a very tanned complexion, such as myself, jet black hair, okay, uh, big brown eyes, okay, and I guess I did a little time traveling from 1995 to 1993 with this dolly because this is a donor outfit from a uh, 1993 uh, Happy Holidays Barbie, okay? Um, when I purchased her, uh, she was, again, um, minty fresh. Yeah, she was used, you know, um, but 
but the original doll that this gown came in, okay, um, was only missing her shoes. So, just like with the other um, two Barbies over there, you know, they're wearing replacement shoes, so is this one, okay? These are generic, no brand shoes, strappy. I'm not too crazy about them, but what I love about them is that they stay on the doll's feet. They don't slip off, you know, it's a good fit. So, but, um, you know, this is um, Happy Holidays, the unproduced Hispanic version of Barbie, 1993, okay? Um, all I had to do was, you know, tie her hair up in a nice thick braid, okay? Um, because she has that flyaway hair, okay, that I'm not crazy about. Um, but again, all I had to do was take this outfit, the earrings, you know, the ring, you know, understand, you know, um, from the original doll that I came with and simply dress this doll. And voila, there's my happy holidays, Hispanic Barbie or Teresa. Um, there isn't much more to tell about this, you know, beautiful, uh, Indian princess. Okay. Other than, um, she is, I, I, I love, <clears throat> excuse me. I love the superstar era head mold. And even though throughout the years, Mattel has come up with many original sculpts to depict Hispanic looking folks, because what does, has, what does a Hispanic look like? We look like anybody. We can be as white as her, as black as her, or as brown as her, because Latinos, we come in all shades. What does a Hispanic person look like? Well, anybody, anybody. Um, because again, we're not really a race. I'm not even sure if, if I guess the term is that we are an ethnicity, but not quite a race because we're made up of all the races. Latinos are made up of all the races, okay? You can be white, blonde hair, blue eyes, like Cameron Diaz or, or Christina Aguilera, uh, or, you know, you can be dark skin like Sammy Sosa. Well, I think he has better light or he's bleached skin. I don't know. But, but originally, when he first came into prominence, Sammy Sosa was dark skin. Um, but any, and then again, all the colors, all the shades of skin tones in between, Latinos can be. So anyways, um, again, um, I believe I have taken enough of your time. So... Um, and I'm still on my Christmas kick, of course, not still, I'm like already on my Christmas kick, you know, that's why I'm making, you know, my videos again, Christmas theme. So here we have 1991, oh, 1992, and 1993. These lovely ladies adorn my shelves, and um, I love them. I love them very much. They're beautiful, they're so opulent. And you know what I might do? Well, I gotta get the money first. You know, maybe I will do the next year because, okay, 91, 92, 93, maybe I will do a, another custom for 94. I have to look at the uh, the gown because if I don't like the gown, no. Uh, you see, I'm not one of those people that collects every single holiday, happy holiday Barbie that was ever released. No, no, no. Some people do. Well, if they got it like that, well, that's their money, you know, they, they, they can, you know, do as they wish. But, you know, some people make these ranking lists and they show every single doll from every single gear, say, oh, I love this one. Oh, this one is kind of crappy. This looks cheap. And I'm like, I want to say to that person, because there are several people who do it, I want to say, sweetheart, if if you think this doll so is so unappealing in your eyes, why did you even purchase it? See, I just don't get it. I just don't get it. You know, like uh, one thing about my, my doll reviews is that, again, whatever dolls you see through my humble little lens in, these, uh, in camera, trust me, I really, really like these dolls. Because if I didn't, I wouldn't be wasting my time making videos or even purchasing dolls that I do not care for. Well, anyways, 
I have taken enough of your time. I love you all, my fellow brothers and sisters and all. Continue enjoying um, these uh, uh, um, Christmas time that, you know, it, well, right now we're, we're still in, you know, in the middle of October. So Christmas isn't, you know, just yet, but I'm, I'm bypassing um, Halloween and Thanksgiving. Because come to think of it, yeah, Mattel has made lots of, uh, hideous, and yes, hideous Halloween-themed uh, Barbies throughout the years. Although some of them are cute, but very few, very few of them are cute. I don't really collect them, but I have a couple. I have a couple uh, of the Halloween ones. And yeah, I, I shall review them as well. Um, but they've never done really Thanksgiving Barbies. You know, maybe there's something to look into. Okay, Thanksgiving Barbie every year, just like happy holiday they, they should just call her merry christmas really you know because i have friends from all walks and crawls and all fates of life and i've yet to meet a, a non-christian person who said oh donnie i can't believe they are calling this christmas dolls oh my god clutch the pearls the hours ain't nobody complaining about that and if anybody were to complain, you know, well, why not? Okay, let's call a spade a spade. And Christmas, oh, pardon me. Okay, let's call, you know, Christmas Barb. Instead of Happy Holidays, okay, let's call her Christmas. And why not come up with another line? You know, Hanukkah Barbie. Why not? Let's make also another line, Kwanzaa Barbie. That would be interesting. You know, and, and, and regardless of the faith that the doll may portray, most doll lovers are very open-minded individuals anyways. Most of us look at life a little bit different, and we're not really hung up on, on, on religious or, or even political labels, you know, that most other people are totally hung up on, okay? Um, so, Mattel, if you come up, with beautiful, okay, with a beautiful Hanukkah Barbie and a beautiful Hanukkah, I mean, uh, and a beautiful Kwanzaa Barbie, yes, I'd be totally down to collect those two. But again, not just make it gratuitously just because to shut me or whoever up. No, but, but make her like this, beautiful, glamorous. So it'd be okay. It, it wouldn't be wrong to call Christmas Barbie, have Hanukkah Barbie, have Kwanzaa Barbie. The the what would be wrong with that? You know? If they're beautiful, that's pretty much, you know, um the biggest requirement for doll collectors. You know, we love dolls for the same frivolous reason. Cause these pieces of plastic and fabric do nothing for us other than look good. They are pretty, they're decorational. That's why we have them on shelves. Because, again, that, that's they serve the most frivolous purpose any item in your house could ever do. These dolls are not going to feed you. They're not going to cure your illness, your illnesses, okay? Um, again, they are nothing but to look at. That's it. Because they're pretty. That's it. Anyways, um, thank you all very much. Continue watching. Please share, share, as I really appreciate it. Uh, the addition of more subscribers. And when I reach a thousand, I'm gonna have a, a, a surprise for y'all. When I reach a thousand, okay? No, I'm not even gonna wait until I reach a thousand. You know, right now I'm in 346. When I reach 500, when I reach the 500 uh, uh, um, milestone of 500 subscribers, okay, I'm gonna have a, a big, beautiful surprise for all of you, my dear subscribers. And, uh, but let, let me get to 500, okay? I love you all and have a wonderful, wonderful night. Ta-ta for now, or like my brother says, I'd say, but I don't always say, smooches. <laughs>